Hey, you guys, Adolfo here from NerdStalker, NerdStalker.com, NerdStalker TV on YouTube, at NerdStalker on Twitter. So the web application we're going to look at today is called Trelloist, which is a very clever name because it's kind of like Trello plus Todoist had a baby. So we are at Trelloist.com. All links and notes will be in the show notes. Also, please subscribe, you guys, and give this a thumbs up. This is what it looks like when you go to Trelloist. Uh, and uh, there's a really cool demo video which sort of gets you started, and you can just click Get Started or um, Log In. Additionally, there's uh, this is built by Misha, and uh, a website, email, some code, GitHub code for this. Uh, there's known issues list here and bugs and feature requests, and you can donate uh, to the cause here. So log in, like I said. Uh, you go here and ask you for something called a Todoist API token. You would click on this integrations menu. If you are logged into Todoist like I am, it will take you right to the settings section in Todoist. Uh, and then you will scroll down and you will see something called an API token. You will copy your API token. Close this. And you will paste it into that field. Now, what this allows Trelloist to do is to pull in your information, right? And to display it for you. And so we click log in and boom, there's everything. So if I scroll to the right, it would go on and show all my various projects. But that's probably not very useful. So what you probably want to do is click on a filter. And when you click on these, this button tools, you'll see it, it kind of shows you a slew of a uh, of options here. Your backlog, if you click that, it'll show you absolutely everything in your Todoist. Boom. So there's something called backlog, and it'll just go on for days and days of things in your Todoist. What I've done is I've created various labels in Todoist, which I call to do, and I believe doing and waiting. I don't have a done one because doing something done in Todoist is just checking the box and it's gone. Uh, but some people do. It's up to you. You can have it progress and blockers or waiting on uh, have those type of labels as well. So in uh, to Trelloist, you have this button called list. And what list is, is effectively your labels, right? So if I unch uncheck all my labels, everything's gone. And so let's go down to my labels that I mentioned earlier. Let's add to do, doing, and let's say my waiting on label, right? Now for the for the exercise here, under my to-do label, I didn't have anything, so I just added something, test item one, right? So if we go into Todoist and we go to our label to-do, we see test item one is there. So let's add something else in here. You can just click in there and I will call this um, I, uh, task two. And I hit enter and there it is. And it should be in, let's go to Todoist. And look what's there automatically, automatically. Task two. So it just it's instantaneous, right? And if it doesn't update, you can do a vice versa too. Trellist is pulling in data. Uh, so if you make a change in Todoist and it doesn't display immediately in Trelloist, there's a manual sync option here. Uh, let's say that we we're moving, we're happy with test item one. Let's move it to doing. And then we go back to doist to just to check here. And you see, boom, the change happened. And now if we go to the doing label, bam, there it is. Test item one. So you can see sort of the use case here. If you're a Kanban fan, much like I am, I love Kanban. And I wish this, this type of feature was built into Todoist perhaps someday. Kind of experimental at this point, but it works really well. Additionally, for some other sort of views, projects obviously shows all of your projects or none of your projects. You won't see anything if you do that. Uh, also, you can filter by uh, dates, which is really, really nice. They have a nice sort of uh, calendar filtering option here. Uh, your priorities, also filter by your priorities. You can filter by items that are assigned to you or not. You can clear all your filters, which I won't do now because then everything will display again. So you can see you could sort by and view by all kinds of you know options here. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You know, it's really fun. I suggest you give it a try and even donate to Misha, you know, who's doing this amazing work with uh, Trelloist. Check it out at trelloist.com, nerdstalker.com. Don't forget to subscribe, everyone. Give this a like. Appreciate your time. I am Adolfo Ferranda at Nerdstalker on Twitter, nerdstalker.com, nerdstalker TV on YouTube. See you guys.